and print them. Okay, teacher. Or at least, okay, at least... Trevor. Okay, Where's Trevor? Trevor? Are you eating in my test? What? Are you eating in I my test? I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Are you eating in what? my test? Yes. Yeah, I know you're eating. You're naughty. I'm going to delete you in class one. <laughs> Why? Because you're eating in the test. <laughs> All right, this should work. We should be set. How's the cheese today? Okay. You're okay or okay? Okay sounds like it hurts. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Now I got it. Okay, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you don't have your test papers, huh? Yeah. What? Your test papers. It tells you all the topics we're going to talk about and what to prepare for. Yeah, I do have. Oh, you have? You said you didn't have it earlier. Ah! Uh, okay, good. All right, so, hmm, what'd you do today? Why can't I see you? All I see is your hair. Ah, uh, yeah, can you see me? Now I see you. Yeah. So how was your day? What did you do today? I studied a lot. You studied a lot. Okay. Well, that's good. At least you'll be prepared for your classes this week. Today is Sunday. Sunday. Well, no, still Sunday afternoon until six o'clock. So that's good. That's good. You didn't go play any football? No, nothing active? No. Oh, my God. You got to go. Up and walk. I, my home. I uh, don't, don't have any friends. We don't they, have um, far from my house. Oh, you don't have many friends living near your house. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Geez, you must have some neighbors. You have some, some, neighbor? some neighbors, yeah? No. No neighbors. You live on a mountain? Oh, I have uh, two neighbors, but they uh, go to school. And it's not, not go to school. Uh, they go to study uh, study something like English and math. Okay, so they went and did extra studies too. So you do have some friends around your house. Just nobody right now. Yeah. Okay, that's good. But you should get outside. You should always get outside, get a little bit of sun because you get vitamin D and do some exercise. Well, not exercise, but just... You know, play some football or something for a little while just to get some activity going. It's good for your body, good for your brain, too. Good for everything. All right, so we're going to read about the big family. We're going to review that lesson later. But first, are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to start our test. Part one, we're going to talk about talent. What is your greatest talent? What are you naturally good at? Talent? Yeah. Actually, I don't have any talent. Oh, everybody's got a talent. There's got to be something that you find easy to do. It, it could even be math or science. It could be puzzles. No. I don't. You don't think there's anything that you have a natural talent for? Yeah. Did you learn how to swim easily? No. No? Do you run I, fast? Uh, the first time I uh, I learned uh, learn what? Uh, I learned how to swim. I'm very scary. <laughs> it is scary when you first learn. I was scared too. After the first six time. months, uh, after six months, I know how to uh, swim. Okay, I don't but remember how long. Six months is a uh, long, 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 long time. To yeah, so I guess swimming would have to be the next question: is what skills have you learnt and it took you six months to learn to swim so that would be a a learnt skill okay so that was good but for talent there must be something you're good at are you a fast runner 
when you when you're at school and you play sports? Are you fast runner? Can you run really mm, fast? No. No. Can you run let's, long distance? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's normal. I think so. Just normal. So there's some kids faster. What about long distance running? Running for like four or five kilometers. Can you do that? No. No. Oh, when I was a kid, I was um, one. One talent I had was I was very good at endurance running, long, long, long running. But I was not talented at speed running. I was never the fastest. My body's not built that way. But I was natural. I was I was very talented at swimming. I was scared to learn, but I grew up next to the water, so I did a lot of swimming, and I was really good at it. Um, there's got to be something. What about drawing? Do you like to draw? Mm, I don't think so, but draw is good for me. Okay. What about music? Do you play any music? No. No. Uh, this uh, this 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 uh, this summer, my mom said you can learn how to play the guitar. Ah, okay. Did you start yet, or you're going to go this next summer? Not yet, or soon. I mean, already or not, not yet? yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Well, maybe we just didn't find your talents yet because everybody's got a talent. That's why it's important to try many different things when you're young so you can find your talents. Maybe it's computer programming. Who knows? Something that comes easy to you. Okay. So we just talked about number two. What skills have you learned or learning? You said two already. You learned how uh, to swim. You're teacher. going to learn. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Can uh, I go out to have the church? The laptop church? <laughs> Do you want to go charge your laptop? Or to get the yeah. charger? No, I want to go out to get the church. Charger. Okay, go get the charge okay. is the verb. Charger is the thing. Oh, my God. <sighs> Unbelievable. All right. So you, we talked about two already. Um, that you, one skill you learned was that you learned how to swim. So that's a really good skill to have. And you said next summer you're going to learn how to play the guitar. Yeah. So my mom said. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. It's good to learn different. It's really good to learn new things. The younger you are, the more you learn, the better off you're going to be, and the more developed you'll be as a young adult and future too. Um, it's so true. It's good to get involved. So what other skills have you learned or do you want to learn? What else did you learn? Uh, I learned to... Uh, I learned want to... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I want to learn how to speak Japanese. So you want to learn how another language too, Japanese. And right now you're learning. Right you... now? Yeah. I'm learning Vietnamese. And right now, right now, right now. Yeah. You're learning another skill right now. What skill is that? Right now, I learned to play Minecraft. <laughs> skills playing video games okay but you're learning english too that's another skill oh yeah <laughs> all right so minecraft guitar swimming english japanese and all the other skills you're going to learn how can talent and skills help you in the future Karen, uh, i want to uh, learn uh... no how how will they help you in the future the more talents you discover and the more skills you learn, how ah. will that help you in the future? Um, like playing the guitar. My mom say, uh, when you grow up, you can uh, have a good friend. Because <laughs> you are good at playing guitar. Yeah. Because she will like you. For some reason, 
guys that can play the guitar, women are attracted to that. That is true because I know a lot of the kids that I grew up with that learn how to play the guitar, they they seem to get a lot of attention. That's true. That's true. But there's a lot more to it than just that, for sure. What other? What? what how's English going to help you? How's Japanese going to help you? In the- oh, um, like I go to uh, another uh, country, mm-hmm. but I don't know uh, uh, the uh, their language. So, do you know uh, English is uh, popular? That's right. English is the international language. It's one of the most important languages to know. Because you can do business in every country in the world with English, but that's not true for other languages. Right? If you go to Vietnam, Vietnamese is number one, but number two is English. If you go to Japan, number one is Japan. Number two is English. If you go to France... Number one is French. Number two is English, right? So that's why English is the international language. But it's also true that let's say your intentions are to go work for a Japanese company. Now, if that's true or a Korean company, maybe they do a lot of business in Vietnam. Then if you're going to go work in their country, yeah, it really helps if you know how to speak their language. For sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, like, yeah. if I um uh, with someone take um, someone uh, again, what are you trying to say? Abduct. Abduct. The... abduct. Abduct is like to get kidnapped. Someone adapt me like that. Okay. And, uh, and when uh, and go to another country. Okay. I have escaped from from they, but I don't know their language. Their language. So I will uh, say English like that uh-huh. because English is very popular and like that. Yeah. So if you get abducted by some Japanese people and they bring you to Japan, you'll be able to escape because you can speak Japanese and English. Hmm? (laughs) I got a better idea. How about you don't get kidnapped? Good idea, yeah? How about you don't get abducted? You don't get kidnapped. And that's probably much better. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I can be a translator. Do you know translator? I think maybe, yeah, I do. I think I'm not sure you know what abduct mean. Abduct means to be kidnapped. When they steal people, they kidnap people. Adapt means that you can live in different places. I'm not sure what word you're trying to find, but it it doesn't seem to make sense what you how you're explaining being abducted. Aliens come down and abduct people, things like that. But yes, that's another job you could do. You could be a translator. And knowing more languages will really help you find better jobs. That's true. True, true, true. Okay, enough about how it will help you in the future. Let's go to topic two. Okay. So, our topic two is natural disaster. And the first question is, what are some kinds of disasters? How many do you, how many do you remember or do you know of? Uh, the Tatsumi in the Japan. Tsu, tsunami. It's like a TS. Tsunami. Tsunami. Japan. Tsu. Very a lot of people die. I think so. In Jakarta. Did you say in Jakarta? No, in Japan. Oh, in Japan. Over the years, yeah, a lot of people have had problems with tsunamis. Tsunamis. Yeah. Well, the biggest tsunami happened in 2004. Well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's the one that was the most damaging, where most people died. I think it's like 250,000 people. I was in Indonesia when that Yeah. 
And do you think COVID is a national national? A natural disaster? Yeah. No. Uh, COVID is a virus. If it's only in one country or one place, we call it an epidemic in one area. But if it goes around the world like this did, like a flu or a cold or something like that, it's a virus, then it's a pandemic. But a natural disaster is something that is caused by the water, the land, the wind, right? Like a tsunami is an earthquake underwater that creates like a big vibration and then the water comes up and it goes out, right? Like when you drop a, you, you drop a, a little rock in your coffee bloop, and you see the rings. Bloop, bloop. Well, it's yeah. Just, yeah, it's the same thing, but this time it's under, whoops, it's underground, so. there's an earthquake and it creates a vibration and that creates the ripples again. And then as the ripples build energy and get close to the land, then that when it gets close to the land, it sucks up all the water and it comes in like a big wave over the land. And that's a tsunami. But as far as I know, they're caused by underwater earthquakes. But then earthquakes on land, everything just shakes, right? All the vibrations and buildings collapse. What other natural disasters do you remember? What? What other natural disasters can you think of? Um, like earthquakes. Earthquakes, yeah, we just talked okay. about that. Uh, do you know the new in Spain there have an earthquake? In Spain, I, I heard there was one in Turkey. Oh, uh, but I, I didn't I hear. Think so, but I heard in Tây Ban Nha. I think it's rain. Uh, it's Spain. In Spain, huh? Mm, I didn't hear about that. When? Today? No, it's about five, five days ago. I don't think so. Yeah, five days ago. It was all over the news. Uh, well, um, maybe maybe Miss Lay was wrong. She showed... No, I, I saw the videos. There was the two, two earthquakes, and some people died, too. It was in Turkey. Yeah. Turkey? Oh. Yeah. Turkey, not Spain. Yeah. And uh, the end, uh, well, the, where Asia ends and Europe starts. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but maybe there was another one too. I don't know. Okay, so we got earthquakes. We got tsunamis. What other natural disasters do, you, do we have on our planet? Mm, and um, do you know what? I probably mm. know. Tornado? Tornadoes, yeah, those happen on land. They come down from the clouds, yeah. What about the ones on the water that spin around like a tornado and come into yeah. land? What do you call those ones? What? What do you call the tornadoes on water and then they come to land and create big uh, winds and big water storms? Um, water tornado? No, uh, so we don't. We don't call it a water tornado. What hits Vietnam? The second question here because we're kind of getting off track here. The second question is, what kinds of disasters are common in your country? So your country is Vietnam. Yeah. Every, every year we get these big storms from the ocean. It comes across the Philippines and then it hits Vietnam. And they have to uh, cut is trees that, down. What, is, uh, it's like a hurricane. It just storm, yeah. Yeah, big, but it's a big circle in the clouds, and it's picking up wind and water. And what is that called? I um, remember that that name, but I can't. It's a typhoon. A typhoon is like a hurricane, right? It's in the clouds, and you see the eye of the typhoon or the hurricane. It's also called a cyclone or a or, or a tornado on land. On water, it's a hurricane, typhoon, or cyclone. And it's just about different zones and areas, north and south, why they change the name from what I understand. But the typhoon comes in from the water, and then it hits the land, and it blows the trees down and tears the roofs down. And then typhoons also cause another problem some in some places. What else can we have in Vietnam that happens often? 
because you 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 don't have many volcanoes. They're not active in Vietnam. Not like Viet. Not like in Indonesia where they have active volcanoes. But in in Vietnam, you have a lot of what? When you get a lot in of Vietnam? water, yeah, yeah. Oh, it will have a uh, flood. Yeah, All right. You get a lot of floods. Ud floods. That's right. Flood in uh, Menchung. Um, what can it cause? Well, it also causes with the heavy rain and the storms. It causes mudslides where the sides yeah. of the hills, the water gets, uh, the mud gets really wet, the earth, and then it slides down into a village. And very dangerous because you have all that mud and earth sliding in. They're called mud mud slides. I think they're la landslides. They're called, and then that causes a lot of damages. So those are the most common ones in Vietnam. Have you ever been in a disaster? Been? Yeah. Ever been stuck in a flood? No. Or forest but fire? My 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 grandma said, I uh, he uh, she was been. Oh, uh, in in a uh, national. It's about natural. National, not nation. Natural, natural, natural. Natural. Okay. What was it? Natural. A natural what? Do you know a concern um, stuff? Is in uh, twenty twenty and ten. What was it called? A natural what? What happened? It's, it's about a storm. Name is Concern. It's oh. about uh, thir thirteen years ago. My mom and uh, my grandma just saying. Oh, so that was probably a typhoon. Yeah. With lots of rain and wind and storm. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very big. My mom says so. Yeah, probably a typhoon. Uh, right. a lot of people die, but in coming heaven. A lot of people died, but what? Oh, teacher. Yes. Um, I searched it, and my birthday is five, uh, Julie, and the uh, storm is start in. Seven, seventh, and Julie. July. July, like that. Okay. Is um just five of oh, no. uh twelve day uh how should I say it to you? <laughs> I don't know. It lasted five days. The storm. The storm uh, was for five days. You talking about the time? Uh, I will uh, take it to you. It's about my birthday. Your birthday uh, on the fifth, uh, July fifth. Okay. Like it's a uh, just a short day. A short day. Sure. Like this, okay. um, my birthday yeah, is okay. in fifth yes, in July. July, and this storm is in seventh July. It's okay. a short day about my birthday. Oh, short time. Yeah, short time that, like that. After your birthday. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's go it, review it's, our. It's not, it's not my birthday. It's the day I was born. Oh, okay. The day you were born. So a year later, you had a birthday. Okay. Also, it was the same year. You were born in uh, 2010? No. Uh, yeah. Five. Yeah. I uh, was born in 2010. July 5th, 2010. And the storm was July 7th, 2010. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll check it out on the internet after. Yeah. Yeah. You get a lot of typhoons here every year. Big ones and small ones. All right, so now we're going to go to our comp reading comprehension. Um, everybody has a different date for birthdays. Yeah. But Mother's Day is a special holiday 
for just all the mothers in that country. You have one in Vietnam. It's a special, like Teacher's Day for all the teachers. So Mother's Day is for all the mothers. Yeah. That's the same date for everybody. All right. So we're going to do some comprehension questions here to see how much you remember of that lesson of the Dexter family with all those children and how they live. Oof, very different. Number one, how many people are in the Dexter family? There are 17 people, 17 brother and sister in Dexter family. Dexter's. Dexter's family. We X, so we got to put a KS. Dexter's. Dexter's. Are you sure? Only 17? Yes, 17. But Hannah said she had 17 brothers and sisters. Hannah doesn't live with his with her brothers and sisters? Does she live somewhere else? No. So how many? She was, she was 14, so she didn't have any wife. Her Fix your camera. So how many people in the family? Not how many brothers and sisters does Hannah have. How many people in the family? Really? Uh, let's remember. About 19. 19, huh? Because, because half, they uh, it could have a dad. Dextra and mom of Dexter. Uh-huh. And who's telling the story? Dexter. Dexter's family telling the story? No, only one girl is telling the story. Dexter is telling the story. No, it's the Dexter family. But who is telling the story about her family? Hannah. Uh, Hannah. All right, so there's Hannah. She's 14 years old. Now, how many brothers and sisters does Hannah have? Uh, 17. So um, it, it will have 20 people in um, Hannah's uh, Dexter family. In Hannah's family, the Dexters. There's 20 people in the family. There's There's 18 children and two parents. Yeah. Can I see the book? Nope. No? Nope. That's why you have to have your own book. Number two. Do you think Hannah's happy living with such a big family? Yes, I think so because Hannah says she is lucky. That's right. What about you? Would you like to have a family big like that? No. Why not? My dad, my dad and my mom doesn't have enough money for things. <laughs> but what if you were rich? If you were rich, would you like to have that many brothers and sisters? Or maybe 10 no. or 11? No. No, too much? Yeah. How many now? You have a brother, sister now? I have a sister. Okay. So you wouldn't want to have a... Younger sister. sister. You wouldn't want to have at least four, maybe? Another brother and another sister? Yeah, I got a uh, baby uh, brother. Okay. So bigger, but not that big. Yeah, okay. Get rid of your gum. Get rid of your gum. Shouldn't chew gum when you're doing a test. Your bubble gum. Get rid of your gum. Take your gum out. Hmm. Okay, TJ. All right. What? Oh, no, sorry. With that many children, where do they keep all their clothes? Keep? Where do they keep the all the cupboard. clothes? The cupboard. But where are the cupboards? The cup are the cupboards in all their bedrooms? Yeah. No, they have a special laundry room downstairs. There's no space in the bedrooms to put the, the cupboards in there. 
So they all have to, they have all the clothes are washed in one room downstairs and put on shelves and cupboards there. And then the kids have to come and get their clothes. Oh, ah, I remember they have a specially uh, some cupboard room like that. Yeah, they have a special room. It would be so much work. Can you imagine? Every day you have 20 sets of clothes, 20 pairs of pants and shirts and socks and underwear and whatever else they have to wear every day. Dirty clothes. A lot. Oh. Let me think. Uh, uh, like Hannah, Hannah will have to, uh, in the winter, Hannah will have to wear a uh, scarf like that. Scarves, um, jackets. Shirt. Yeah. Jacket, a shirt. The pin and shock. It's all have shock, pin, uh, t uh, shirt, jacket, and skirt. It's about five items, like at, a five. At least, maybe a sweater too, maybe two shirts. Yeah. And if they have winter, but we don't know where they are. Maybe they live in the south, so maybe it's not. Maybe they don't have winters. Maybe. But. 17, uh, 18, um, 18 kids. Uh, like 20 people multiply to uh, five items, like uh, five items in the, uh, on, on the Could be a hundred clothes every day. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah, Maybe like a business. Like Number four. What do the Dexters eat every morning for breakfast? Uh, four, uh, four liters of uh, of milk. Mm -hmm. mm, four loaves of bread. Four loaves of bread. Yeah. And um, some something. All or half uh, of uh, of uh, boxes of remember box boxes of right they pour the boxes of wet in the bowl and they put the milk in it. What was that? Ah, uh, all of half of boxes of um, cereal. Cereal. That's right. So do they have a car? They do have a car, but they have a mini bus, but I think it's a normal bus. Normal. <laughs> Probably. A school bus for the whole family. They might have a car, maybe for dad when he goes to work and all this stuff, and for small things, maybe going to buy groceries. I don't know. But when they travel, they have a bus. Yeah. So... Do they ever travel together? All 20? No. What do they do, what do, they do on holidays? They uh, go camping. Just just go camping. They go camping. That's right. Be because if uh, you traveling, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's expensive. So expensive now, too. It's crazy. Yeah, they have a minibus. <laughs> All right, last question. Does mom ever get a day off? Yes. When? It's mom's day. Mother's they, day. They uh, don't have to do nothing. And everybody uh, without the children in the school will have her. Have the house work like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, they'll help. They'll do everything for her on Mother's Day so she doesn't have to do anything at all. That is true. All right. You didn't have your test papers, which really helped the students because it, it helps you prepare and read the lessons and know what questions and what topics we're going to talk about. So you didn't have that. That's not good because it hurts you. But you still did really good. So I'm proud of you. You did good. You still did good. You remembered most of that lesson. Um. I wish we could have spoken more on the talent questions and, and the natural disasters a little bit more. But again, you didn't have your your test paper, so you didn't know what the topics that we were going to talk about were. 
So hopefully next yeah. next term in interest 14, you'll get your copies in your book and print them. Okay, teacher. Or at least, okay, at least, teacher. Okay, Which teacher. Teacher. Are you eating in my test? What? Are you eating in I my test? Hear you. you can't hear me. Are you eating in what? my test? Yes. Yeah, I know you're eating. You're naughty. I'm going to delete you in class one. <laughs> Why? Because you're eating in the test. <laughs> no. no. Um, I'm too hungry. Because, uh, um, because I don't, I don't, you didn't. Eat, I, I don't eat anything I, for lunch. I didn't. I did not. Okay. I don't is every day. I don't eat lunch ever. I didn't eat lunch today. Didn't. All right. Well, Teacher, you both but can. I just eat cheap. Who did I delete? Delete. Goodbye. <laughs> Good. Goodbye. Goodbye, travel, Miss Travel.